I've got to feel comfortable and clean. I do with... For 20 years, the U.S. Coast Guard has used this type helicopter for rescue missions and law enforcement. When the service decided to buy a high-tech replacement, two companies were at the head of the competition, Bell Helicopter of Fort Worth and Aerospatiale, a company owned by the French government. Today, after five years of development, the Coast Guard took delivery of its first new helicopter, the HH-65A Dolphin, built by Aerospatiale in its Grand Prairie plant. When Aerospatiale won the contract, Bell filed suit. Bell said U.S. military helicopters should be built in the U.S. The law requires that 50% of the helicopter's value be American. Aerospatiale claims that 64% of the Dolphin is American, even though the body, rotor blades, and rotor head are made in France. Bell lost its suit. Aerospatiale's president, former Army General Robert McKinnon, says the source of the aircraft is not the point. I think the basic thing is to get in the hands of the people that are going to use it, the best equipment that's available, regardless of where it comes from. The building of the 90 Coast Guard helicopters is just the beginning of Aerospatiale's ambitions in the U.S. military market. Aerospatiale executives are now preparing to bid for a new contract, a contract that would not provide 90 military aircraft, but perhaps as many as 8,000. The new helicopter would be the Army workhorse in the 1990s. Aerospatiale says high technology components like those in the Dolphin make the company the best choice for the new aircraft. But executives say Aerospatiale will have to find a U.S. partner because the chances of a French company winning the huge contract are remote. Aerospatiale says it has contacted several firms about the partnership, including Bell Helicopter of Fort Worth. Scott Pelley, Channel 8 News. Well, it was getting a little bit cooler out there, I noticed yeah, today.